welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Jordan and today I'm setting up my bullet journal for the month of September and if you're interested in any of the supplies they'll all be linked down below and if you like this obviously give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so I'm starting off with my cover page and for this month I wanted to do something a little more retro um, I don't really know what it has to do with September but I just thought it would be a fun theme to do so I was drawing a vinyl player um, and then I just have a mini calendar on the front just so I know what the month kind of looks like um, and yeah so I kept this month pretty minimal last month I had a lot of color which you'll see at the end of the video when I do my flip through um, so this month I wanted to keep it a little less colorful and just a little more simple because I am going back to school and I know that I won't have as much time to make really creative spreads just because I'll be so busy with schoolwork, which is totally fine. I am not opposed to minimalism. I actually quite love looking at minimalist bullet journal spreads. Um, so yeah, and then for my title, I'm just using my Tombow to to write September in calligraphy and I also kind of made it a little flowy so it kind of looks like it's coming from the I don't know the horn thing um and now for my monthly calendar it's very simple I like it this way I don't like it to be really fancy I don't yeah so I just really like it very simple and if you're wondering this each square is six by six grid spaces in the Dingbats A5 Plus journal. Um, and I used to do a similar size for my Lordstrom, so if you're interested in sizing, that's what they are. And then, yeah, I'm just filling in each of the days. It's very simple, as I said. And then once I'm done with all that, I'm just gonna go in and fill in what I have for this month as well as what I have for next month. So as you can tell, I have a little section on the side of the calendar that says this month and next month. And this is just so I can keep track of what's coming up and what I need to prepare for next month so that when I'm doing the next month spread, I know what's coming up and I don't have to switch to the very front of the book to find my future log. Now, moving on, I'm doing my habit tracker, and I did decide to not film me drawing in the 30 days of September se seven times because that's just kind of redundant and pretty self-explanatory. So I did get this in uh, this page idea from Amanda Rachley. She showed this in her last video of just doing a very simple calendar layout for her habit trackers. For my mood tracker, however, I decided to go a bit more artistic and I drew an old school jukebox machine. Um, if you're young and you don't know what this is, they're pretty cool. Um, so I wanted to do each CD as each day of the month for September and it actually would have been a lot worse because I was originally planning to do um, each track as the moods that I'm, or as the days of the month that I'm tracking and then I didn't know how to make that layout work so I decided to do the CDs um, and then it makes it a lot more fun because my uh, legend at the very bottom is also CDs so it makes it super cohesive and I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun filling this out. Hopefully I stick with it because sometimes I kind of lose interest around the end to the middle of the month. Um, so I'm really hoping I can stick with it and then obviously I'm just adding in the days of the month into each um, CD. And then filling in the colors for my legend at the bottom because I want it to be really fun colors that kind of looked retro but like weren't completely crazy or anything. Um, 
And then I decided to color in the base of the jukebox with my brown mild liner, which you have probably seen me use a bunch this video, and I will continue to use a bunch this video because it's like my key color. So yeah. And I'm sorry if I sound really awkward, I'm not very good at voiceovers, but you know, your girl is learning. So anyway. This double page spread is inspired again by Amanda Reachley, the wonderful bullet journal queen. And it's just a very simplistic uh, semester over overview. As I said, I did I am going back to school in September. Um, and I just want a nice place for me to be able to throw down all my projects, all my test dates, anything that's coming up, as well as like when I have to register for my next semester. Um, I would use my future log, but there's not as much space, whereas this is only for school. And if I use like a future log, it's for school as well as just general stuff and work and pretty much everything, birthdays, you name it. So having a place just for school is really helpful because then it's a lot more organized and then I don't have to like figure out like which goes with which and just like have a big jumble of stuff. So it's a very simple layout. Um, I just have the four months, September, October, November, December, which are the last four months of the year and the only four months of my fall semester. And then I just wrote a title at the top. And then on the other side, I do add in a legend, but I didn't get it on camera because I forgot to do it right away. So this spread is a weekly overview um, and it's just going to help me know when I have all my classes, especially for the first couple weeks of school when I'm still getting back into it after being on summer break. And um, yeah, again, this is also inspired by Amanda Rachley. I was watching her or re-watching her back to school video with all these different spreads. Um, so now I'm just filling out each of the columns um, and then as you can tell at the very bottom I do have a key on this page. Um, I did forget to add it on the other page but you'll see when I do my flip through that it's there. And then on the opposite page to my weekly schedule I decided to add a quote again inspired by Amanda. Um, and it just says, don't stress, do your best, ignore the rest. And she put this in her school spreads video. And I really like the quote because it's so true. You just like do your best and don't worry about what other people are doing because you're just trying to do you, you know? So I really like it. And I've been really loving calligraphy lately. So I've been trying to do it as much as possible. Um, now, finally, we are moving on to my weekly spread, and again, this is also a spread inspired by Amanda Ragely. Um, so it's a pretty simple spread that she does quite often, where she has a weekly overview in the corner, which is what I'm drawing right now, as well as sections for each day of the week in a like bigger size, I guess. Um, so again, I'm using the brown mild liner as my like theme color, I guess you would call it. And then I'm adding the, da the days of the week with my Tombow as well as the like actual numbers of the week. And then I'm just filling it out. And here's my flip through. So August, as you can tell, is a lot more colorful. I also experimented with craft paper. Um, I'd never really used it before, but I had a lot of fun using it, and I had a lot of fun with all this calligraphy. I really wanted to experiment and see what I could do with it, so each week I used a different color, and it was really fun to do this, and then I also have an August phase page, which I need to fill in, and then my page across from the September um, title page is kind of not as nice as I wanted it to be, but it works with the quote, so I'm not going to change it. And this is my September pages, or spreads. So... I 
I hope you guys liked this video. If you do, as I said, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and I will see you in another video. Bye!